Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot. And today I'm going to demonstrate for you a spread using the Elemental Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. This is called the Traditional Seven Card Spread. Now, if you're interested in this deck and you think it's as beautiful as I do, you can find a review of this deck on my Oracle Deck Reviews Volume 1 playlist. So be sure to check that out if you haven't. Um, and you know what? One time a hater commented, I don't care about your hands. I don't care about your nails. And you talk like a parrot. Well, the parrot part I can't do anything about. But I apologize for my nails because um, we're putting together scenery and props for a school play. So they have gone uh, south. And I'm guessing they won't be back for a while. So sorry about that. Anyway, um, I'm sure I hopefully you don't watch for my nail color anyway. It hasn't been around for a while. All right, so let's do this spread. And I am going to, the, the cards are pre-shuffled. I'll shuffle them a little bit again. And if you want to um, do this spread for yourself, you can use any Oracle deck or tarot deck that speaks to you. Um, I will tell you the names of the positions. It's sort of a circular uh set up as you can see and um, you might want to write down get a pa paper and pencil to write down the names and the descriptions of the positions of the cards so again this is the traditional seven card spread card one is going to talk about the situation as it is all right you know what i'm going to lay these out as i explain them to you so let me just shuffle again I have the window open because it's super nice outside. So hopefully the motorcycle noises and all that aren't too much. There were sirens a few minutes ago and I live out in the country. So hopefully that's all we'll hear. Motorcycles love to go down my road though. Or motorcyclists. All right, so. All right, I feel like that is shuffled enough. All right, so let's start. So again, position one, and I'm not going to turn them over yet, is the situation as it is. Okay. You know what I think? I'm going to have to move this crystal ball out of the way. Okay. It's heavy. All right, situation, or card one, the situation as it is. Card two, what caused the situation. Card three, what obstacles are in the way of resolution. Card four, what will happen upon resolution. Card five, um, action to resolve, or what action to take to resolve the situation. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move these up a bit. Card six, um, the action you should take to resolve the situation. And card seven, the another action you should take to resolve the situation. Okay, so we'll put that there. Let me move Buddha back a little bit. All right, so that looks good. We can see most of the cards. And I'll just scooch everything up a tiny bit so you can see them a little better. All right. And ordinarily, this would be more circular, but you're going to be able to see it better this way. All right. So what we'll do is we'll flip over the cards. Now, when you're using Oracle cards in a spread like this, of course, um, unless you have your deck memorized, you're going to have to look up all the meanings. So we'll do that. Now, it'll it'll go a lot quicker than um, if you use a tarot deck and you know the meanings of your cards already, or even if you use an Oracle deck and you know um, the meanings of your cards already. But people wanted to see... A, a spread with this deck so let's do this now if you are led to watch this video um, it's either because you want to learn how to do this spread for yourself or your clients or um, maybe this uh, actual reading will have something to say to you so that happens a lot and let's just see what happens okay so card one the situation as it is and this card is plants and growth okay so let me show you close so plants and the keyword is growth and the number is 19 so the number 19 or the number 10 or the number one might be important to you right now 
Okay, this is what it says. Magic is in everyday things. You can make something for nothing. Blo wait, you can make something for nothing. Blossom. It's time. You can make something from nothing. Blossom. It's time. From small things, big things might grow. Begin it. Okay, so it looks like the situation is that you are ready or meant to begin something at this time. Maybe you're considering beginning something. Maybe you're considering making um, one of your projects grow bigger, your business maybe, or your YouTube channel, or your, um, you know, your website, your whatever it is. It looks like this is time. You're either considering growing it, considering starting something, or... Um, it's about um, some growing something in your life. Now, um, there's another part of this about uh, plants. But you know what? I'm not going to read the entire meaning of it because I think we've got the meaning growth. The situation um, deals with your growth right now. All right. What caused the situation is card two. What caused your need for growth or what caused you to want to grow? Um, it says building and atoms. Um, so the card is number 40. So the number 40 or the number four might be important to you. And building. So um, let's see what that one says. Number 40. Everything is connected by the same building blocks of matter. You are electric and vibrating in motion. Being stagnant in your beliefs and growth is unnatural. Building and changing is natural. There is room for infinite variety. Okay, very nice. And so um, the situation is that growth is called for. And what caused the situation is... Um, Growth is called for because this card is telling us that building and changing is natural. Being stagnant is not natural. So um, you're being called to grow because it's the natural thing to do. That's what we go. We're not meant to be stagnant. We are meant to continue to grow in whatever it is we're doing. All right. So um, your desire to grow or your need to grow is caused because growth is and building is a natural part of our development in whatever Okay, card three, what obstacles are in the way of resolution or what obstacles, in your case, are in the way of growth? And we got number 42, so number 42 or number six might be important, and um, this card is movement or speed. So let's see what 42 says. Um, it says, savor the experiences of your life. Be mindful and aware of the speed in which you do activities, such as eating and working. Do not waste time, but understand the discernment of taking quality time. <coughs> okay, so an obstacle to growth in whatever situation we're talking about might be the fact that you are trying to rush something or that you are you have not been taking quality time um, in your life or maybe you've been wasting time so somehow an obstacle here an obstacle here is your use of time and your um, the way you're savoring your experiences the experiences in your life so somehow your use of your time and experiences is causing um, an obstacle to your growth okay so somehow you need to work on how you're using your time um, how you are valuing your time how you are um, taking quality time so those are things you all need you need to look at right now all right card four what will happen upon resolution and this I'm sorry I haven't been showing you these up close um ignition and fire that's number eight so the number eight might be important to you so well, what will happen upon resolution is, okay, and the keyword is ignition or fire, and it says live your passion. Allow your spirit to drive you forward. Don't overthink the situation. Now is the time to innovate and take action. What are we talking about here? Awesome. Um, be a lighthouse for others or find yourself a mentor. So, 
um, what will happen upon resolving your use of time and beginning your growth is that you are likely to uh, be a lighthouse for others. You are likely to um, become a mentor to someone. You are li uh, So once you get going with this growth, um, you are going to be very influential to other people. You may um, be a lighthouse for others. You're going to influence others. You may become an influencer, actually. You are going to influence others in good ways, and you may either become someone's mentor, which I think is where it's going, but also you may find a mentor who's even going to help you move on farther. All right, um, card six, no, card five, sorry, is action to resolve. So an action you can take to resolve the whole thing and to improve and to get your growth going is um, number 36, which is wildness or electricity. So again, the number 36 might be important or the number nine. And it says, um, embrace your wildness, break free of your self-imposed constraints, take immediate action. Again, take action. These cards are all telling you to take action, friend. There is no need for further consideration of your problem. You contain the spark of the divine, so there is no reason to feel lesser. Confront the issue, issue head on. So um, another action, to, an action to take. To resolve your situation, whatever the issue you're having is, that might be um, an op um, opposing your growth or um, causing your growth to be slow or non-existent, um, you are being asked to confront whatever issue is holding you back head on. Bam, just confront it. All right, and then card six, another action you can take to resolve the issue that's holding you back from your growth, number 37. So again, the number um, 37 or the number 10 is important. And we have the number 10 again. So I say if a number shows up twice, super important. So um, yeah, look for the number 10 or the number one to be important to you soon. All right, so another, this is again, um, number six, another action you can take to resolve your situation magnetism and it's called the keyword is attraction Did i show you that sorry um so let's see what that one says it says know your values and needs so you are more aware of what your true attractions are do not run with the herd notice what or who you attract is this your intent there is always nemesis or opposite energy to any endeavor you might take this should not bother you as it's a natural law so again an action you can take here is to notice um, what you're attracting, okay? In your work, in whatever project this is um, that you want to grow in, notice what you're attracting by your actions. Don't, uh, I feel like you want to attract something special, something that is really unique to you. So, no, what do you usually attract? Ask yourself that. What do you usually attract to yourself? And is that your intent? Because um, you might be unintentionally attracting the opposite that you want to attract. So um, one action you can take to resolve things is to notice what you're attracting. And if whatever you are attracting is not what you want to attract, then set the intention to attract exactly what you want. And then the final card is another action you can take to resolve your issue or to like speed up your growth, make your growth happen. Number 14 or number five. And this is called passion. And let's see, I can see where this is going. So 14 is, um, the keyword is the soul. It says, what is the spark that lights you up? The divine lives within you. Consider your motivations carefully. Know where your resistance lies. We all have more than one purpose in life, and having a passion makes us feel more alive. So um, I believe that this action that you can take here is to follow your passion. Find out exactly what you're passionate about enough. I mean, sorry. Find out exactly what you're passionate about and um, follow your passion. Okay, following your passion is also going to lead to growth. I love this reading. It's all about growth and um, 
and building and movement and being on fire and uh, what you're attracting and following your passion. I love this. So if you're in a situation, friend, where you really um, are feeling the urge to grow, know that that's the natural thing. And baby, go for it. Go for it by following your passion. See what you're attracting. Make sure it's what you want. Look at how you're using your time. And um, I feel like this is what the reading is saying to you. So again, this is the traditional um, seven card spread that I found in the book of the guidebook for the Elemental Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. And we're going to take one more message from the card on the bottom of the deck. It may or may not have to do with this reading. It might just be something Spirit wants you to know. And the card is number seven. And this is Darkness or the Moon. So I'm going to go ahead and read that one too. And then we'll wrap it up. All right, so this says, there are cycles to everything and a season for everything. Do not push yourself when the tides are against you. Do not be afraid of the darkness, as the darkness is as necessary as the light. Rest and repair. The divine feminine in all her forms is rising. The time for introversion, stability, and planning is here. And you know, that has a lot to do with um, growth as well. Some and, and we need to grow. We need to continue moving forward, moving toward our dreams, moving toward our uh, passions. But then know that there is always a time when we need to rest and revitalize. We need to um, recuperate, recoup, and um, take a look at where we are and where we're headed. All right, friends. So that was the reading. That was your um, spread from the Elemental Oracle deck. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so. It's completely free for you, and it helps me out a whole lot. I want to thank you for being with me today. I appreciate you so much more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.